it started out feeling like a documentary, but by the end I was pretty sure it was an actual movie. Like it had been scripted. Yeah. And plotting, you know? <laughs> yeah. I thought a little forced. Mm. I think I thought the heart was in the right place. Mm. The scientists who are going there really is climate change. Did that undermine the value? Like, well, I mean, you look, you know, as a, as, a, as a busy person who sometimes thinks serious thoughts, I would be really pissed off if somebody took my time to interview me for these purposes and turn out to be something else. You know, if they said, you know, we're going to do this comedic thing and, you know, just play along, that would be one thing. But, you know, there are other demands that might, I mean, you know, I, I would understand if those guys were pissed off about it. I mean, it was not about global warming, and it right. certainly was not right. about science. Right. Yeah. Right. It was about the making of a film. Yeah. Well, it was, a, and the, the characters in it. Right. Yeah, because there was ultimately there, there, no there substance. Some, there were some extra named scientists, yeah. um, <laughs> but they really were secondary yeah. because the really sure, key yeah. figures were. Mary and, and Randy. It's I mean, did the shallow. movie, it seemed to me, I felt that way about the movie, two-thirds two of the movie. I thought, this is just a movie about, you know, these two producers and their relationship and Randy and blah, blah, blah. But when they got to New Orleans, it seemed like the movie took a turn. Mm -hmm. And especially about halfway through the whole New Orleans footage, it got serious in a way because you had people talking about their heat rash, <laughs> you know, and then it mattered, and you know somehow it was real. It wasn't like the producers talking about their fake heat rash. It was a real heat rash, and then the movie mattered, mm -hmm. and so it bugged me. Is I mean, and maybe that's the point of the movie is that it seemed to undermine the scientists from the beginning. And all the way to the end, like the scientists right, didn't right. matter. That right. doesn't yeah. matter. It doesn't matter what they say. Right. Their charts and graphs don't matter. Yeah. What really matters is these people in the ninth ward. Yeah. Yeah. Well, like the whole, did you the whole discussion. I agree with Athena mm -hmm. that it didn't have any punch until I went to New Orleans. Mm -hmm. But I felt like it's an 85 minute movie, and I was looking at my watch. It's like, <laughs> yeah. The sticky yeah. stuff yeah. was just dragging. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah. I, 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 I think I may have found the redeeming feature of the movie. Right. Uh, <laughs> it's, so, <clears throat> we use scientists for, to, con to confer a certain authenticity to viewpoints and insights. Leading scientists and in, say. In, yeah. And in culture, in American culture, in this age, we use black people to confer a certain kind of authenticity, mm -hmm. a certain kind of crazy. emotional authenticity to things. And here you had sort of the competing authenticity of the scientists on the one hand and the black people on the other. I mean, think of that. That's like a cultural, that's like a trope. That's a, a mm -hmm. recurring theme. Mm -hmm. uh, the black person confirms, acknowledges, mm -hmm. you know, christens, yeah. <laughs> blesses the meaning of things yeah. in some way. Right. I mean, you guys are all scientists. How do you feel about that? I mean, do you feel do you feel dirtied by? Her? I, I think it's a hundred percent so accurate. Yeah, we're yeah. just our own worst enemy in terms of communicating. Well, we're um, what's the name of your radio show? Unhindered by talent. We're we're hindered by facts. <laughs> was what ran through my mind yeah. as as the first spokesperson for science, the female fact oriented person. And she's she just bogged down in facts. But if you're going to call yourself a scientist, you have to pay some yeah. respect to the facts. Yeah, yeah. Right? The world. Whereas if you're going to be a propagandist for whatever you think is the truth, then you don't have to be bogged down by facts. And it's much, then it becomes much easier to just do the whole lie by thing. <laughs> yeah, I think the film is too long. <laughs> too long. Yeah, he should, he should cut the first two-thirds by half. Well, maybe not the two-thirds, but a third of well, yeah. yeah, he's about as funny as we are. <laughs> so there's an hour-long an hour PBS special somewhere in there. So here's your choice, is that you either go by the science and the numbers, or you have to 
use some propaganda in order to get policy get done, right? Mm -hmm. And that's that's the thing. And this, here's the problem, right? Is that religions uh, are so much easier to sell. It is is that because policy needs to happen, right, to influence things, that you need to spin it, and then in which case you undermine mm -hmm. the science in the first place, and then yeah. people can say otherwise. Like, well, clearly you're just using propaganda. This isn't science. So the theme of the, I mean, the, the theme music is uh, got my mojo got working. Got my mojo working. Got my mojo working, but it just won't work on you. So that's, uh, you know, I'm, li I'm liking my argument more and more. But, uh, <laughs> you know, the kind of authenticity that scientists lend to something. So that, that it seems to me the argument of the movie is that scientists lend this kind of authenticity that it's just getting no purchase. It's just not able to get a grip and move, advance, if mojo is not working. He's, he's talking about three different ways that people are making opinions on this. One is, one is a scientist, and we've got all the facts and figures and numbers, and we're, we're pretty darn certain of things, and we've got good reason to be certain. And then there's people who accept it because it's fashionable, and who just heard what somebody says, and, and or and reject it. You say that both of those have their problems, and, these, and then you know, really the only one, the only people who had the conversion experience in this movie were Marion and and Juan, right? right? I just yeah. thought that they were such producers, and, yeah. the, mm -hmm. and the cameramen were such unsubtle stereotypes. I understood exactly what he was trying to say. I just yes. didn't find it particularly insight. And, and he's also doing that to himself, right. playing the mm -hmm. role of right, the right. scientist. Uh, but uh, Antoine and Marion were people who, right from the beginning, were saying, you know, how does this affect me? Why should I care? Right. And mm -hmm. I get those students in class. Right. Yeah. And so I think that's kind of the message of the movie, is he's saying, I mean, those are the people that can be convinced, but you have to convince them not by facts and figures and not by telling them how, how cool it is to be on the side of global warming. You have to give them... But the scene yeah. with Anton sort of sh showing him different ways of reading some of the interviews suggests some of the complications of doing interviews and how editing can make you know a big difference to how uh, the interviews perceived and what the audience gets out of that. I mean, and presumably they must have hours and hours of footage from those interviews, and we saw very little of it and very little with yeah. any real content. I mean, it was mostly, yeah. you know, did the client, is the temperature up? Did people do it? Can we change it? With a little stuff around the edges. Mm -hmm. But we got very little out of the interviews, and I think in some ways that was part of the point. I mean, I think they were trying to say, you know, we did it, but that's not, really, not what the movie's about. We don't really care. And most of you don't care, you being, you know, mm -hmm. the great exception. So, um, and I think they took too long to do that. I think yeah. that's part of the, mm -hmm. the yeah. first hour dragging is they mm -hmm. took an hour to make that point when it might have been made in 20 minutes um, or half an hour. And then you yeah. get on to the going to New Orleans and this is important. Uh, <laughs> we would have accidentally rented it on Netflix and Wasn't put ourselves as well. Right. Yeah. Right. <laughs> and no, well, yeah. Fast it's better than, it's better than that, what, 70s movie, Silent Running? Silent Running. Better than that. <laughs> that is terrible. I think he could have made a better movie about. This mm -hmm. sort of a meditation on authenticity, you know, is that so we got sort of three strategies. <laughs> Again, you know, with no audience. I it, that, uh, <laughs> one is scientific authenticity, one is emotional authenticity, and one mm -hmm. is sort of celebrity authenticity. Mm -hmm. Or spin. And, uh, you know, that's, that's kind that's of an spin. interesting idea, and, uh, you know, it took me 30 minutes after the movie to figure out that's what it was about. <laughs> <laughs> You're right, that's a really yeah. good movie. Yeah. 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 I think there's a better movie he made out of that idea. I think we all agree that the end of the film was better than the beginning, which sort of dragged. Yeah. I mean, I agree with that. Although the end of the film, I mean, I think it was more emotionally compelling, but it was less scientific. And which I think one of right. Len's comments earlier is that, you know, the science gets a lot stretched really quite thin at the end. But it was sort of, you know, emotionally engaging that there were these people that had this experience. It was emotionally engaging, but it was sort of gratuitous. Right. Mm -hmm. Well, I think it didn't have to be. And again, I think, you know, if they'd done a better job, they might have been able to connect that. Well, the cute is not, it does not come off as well. I think it's real cute to see mother dancing with a couple <laughs> guys who were in on the scene. Right. Well, the acting person. was just poor. Absolutely <laughs> irrelevant. Yeah. yeah. Uh,
Sorry. <laughs> 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 the personal. <laughs> Heart's in the right place. Yeah.